my lane fast, call it high speed I've been working hard, yeah, I've been working nightly If you think you'll win, ha, not fucking likely I be taking shots, yeah, cold-blooded, icy Watching numbers grow is what I call sightseeing In the front row, run it up when they hype me What's up, freaks? Welcome to Steve Says, episode number 119 Holy crap, 119 this is on Steve Says. This is always, as you know, not what you might want to hear, but what you need to freaking hear. We are bringing the fucking fire every second of every second. Steve Says is a live show on how to have a no excuses, badass mindset, guiding you to adapt, overcome, and destroy the obstacles, preventing your success in your health, your family, your finances, so you can stop being a little bitch, get your shit together, and start living life on your own freaking terms. Got you on a bunch of different cameras here, literally five different screens and cameras. So if you have anything to enter into the conversation, put it in the comments, and I'll try and catch it as it's scrolling on the different screens. Steve says here, here Steve says we are focusing on the mind, the body, and the business. This is about having a role model mindset, how to operate to dominate with discipline, energy, confidence, action, and being your freak self. It's our peak freak perspective on personal development, having a positive mindset, health, and fitness. We're going to talk about a couple of different topics today that kind of sparked in my mind as we just finished up. Just last month, we did a Squire program, which is a father and son program. And then we just finished the project. Class 01, two of the project just completed on this Friday. My voice is still barely just recovering from that because we get a little animated. It's a very immersive program. As you can see, one of the new Freak Code shirts of, of the new Freak Code line of clothing that we have. It's the, in addition to the No Excuses line that we've already had this whole time, this Peak, peak Freak No Excuses line. It's just a new line that it's the Freak Code. So you can check the link down in the comments. You want to see this. There's all kinds of training gear, workout clothes, all kinds of stuff with the Freak Code. It's all about living life on your own fucking terms. Living according to the Freak Code, marching to the beat of your own drum, stamping your Freak flag in the ground, letting that motherfucker wave high, and not really caring what the people who you don't care about think about you. That's what living the life of the Freak Code is. So with all that said, let's jump in here to episode number 119. Today we're going to talk about goals and goals and striving and out looking for the outcomes and results you're looking for. And what is the real goal when you're searching for goals and, and, and striving for goals? And it's not exactly what you think. You think, all right, your goal maybe is to make a million dollars a year. Your goal is to have the big house or the car or whatever it is. That isn't the real goal. That's not the real goal. We're going to break it down. We're going to get into it here in a second. Then also, I'm going to talk about the your daily disciplines, your basic habits, and how most people are fucking that up and they have it wrong when it comes to their daily routines and their habits. We're going to break that down kind of tying it all in together with the goals and all this other stuff. So first of all, the goals. Your goal, let's talk about it. You think your goal, the end, the outcome, the result you're looking for, you think your goal is the goal. But guess what? Your goal is not the fucking goal. What's the goal? The goal is not the goal. Yeah, it sounds, it sounds like I lost my shit, right? The goal is the journey. That's what the goal is. The goal is the action, the movement, the momentum that you have on the way to that thing that you're looking to achieve, that outcome that you're looking for. That outcome is not the goal. That outcome is just a byproduct. It's a bonus. It's an added bonus. It's like a bonus check for all the things going on. The real goal during this journey is the experience that you're going to gain from it, the experiences you're going to have, the failures you're going to have. That's part of the goal. The tasks that you're accomplishing, the small little victories, the little stepping stones all along the way, that's the real fucking goal. Every situation you encounter on the way to that outcome that you think that you have as your goal is not the goal. It's the failures, the fuck-ups, the losses. Those are the goal because those are where you're learning. Those are the lessons learned that are making you better and stronger and building your skills and building up your entrepreneurial armor, your life armor. For when life kicks you in the nuts, that is the goal. The, even, even during the journey, you're going to encounter a lot of fears, a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety. Those are the goal. 
The unknown is the fucking goal. The uncertainty is the goal. A huge part of the goal, which people overlook in this process and on this journey. A huge part of this goal, and I'll say even one of the most important of all these. Now, the lessons learned from the the fuck-ups and failures. That is a huge, one of the main ones here. But I think probably even more than that, one of the main pieces of the real goal within the goal is the people, the connections, and the relationships you're going to build on that journey on the way to what you perceive as your goal, to the outcome, to the result you're looking for. The people, the connections, the relationship building, the camaraderie, the bonding, the forging of of friendships, of, of relationships, that is the fucking goal. So the way I look at it, I see the goal that we're looking for that outcome, that, all right, I want to make a million dollars a year, whatever it is, the big house, whatever the goal, like the, what you think is the goal. I consider that the lowercase goal. It's a byproduct. The uppercase goal, the G-O-L-E in the uppercase is all these things we're talking about. All these things that we're talking about. Again, the, the action, the momentum, the failures, the fuck-ups, the losses, the lessons learned, the fear, the anxiety, the mental toughness that you're gaining on the way, the durability you're building up. That's what it is. The, the, the unknown, the uncertainty, and especially the people, connections, and relationships that you are forging as you are going towards the lowercase goal. Those are all the uppercase goals. The uppercase goals are the stepping stones. They are the fucking goal. Also, what else is the goal on the way, on this journey? Of course, the learning, but the internally, the the energy that you're going to produce and give out and be infectious to the world, the energy you're going to have, the emotions you're going to have, the discipline that you're going to demonstrate, the discipline that you're going to learn and gain and improve, that's the fucking goal. Constant, never-ending improvement, growth, and personal development, that is the fucking goal. The decisions you're making, building that decision-making muscle, the choices, determining between different options, the priorit- prioritization, that's the goal. Taking advantage of opportunities. Jumping at opportunities, that's the goal. Yes, forward momentum. Forward momentum is the goal. Constant, never-ending improvement. Getting a 0.0001% better every day. That's a freaking goal. The, the possibilities, being aware and noticing the different possibilities that are out there that you maybe never knew before. That's what the goal is. The learning, the growth, the development. That is what we're looking for. We are searching and hunting for pain and suffering and struggle and hardship. That's the fucking goal. That's where the the real forging and the real strength, because it's necessary. Listen, no lowercase goal, that outcome, that result that you're looking for, No, nothing of, of any meaning or any value or any worth was ever achieved without a significant level of suffering, hardship, a little bit of sacrifice and fucking pain and struggle. It just doesn't exist. The goal is taking that suffering and turning it into a superpower. That's the goal. Taking your, learning how to weaponize your weaknesses. Weaponize your weaknesses. That is a goal on the way to the lowercase goal. Those are the uppercase goals of the stepping stones during the journey on your way. That's what it is. The goal, break it down to like the the most granular, minute level. The goal is this motherfucking second, this moment, this present moment. That is the real goal. This, This month, this week, this day, this minute, this second, this very fucking moment in time is the freaking goal. Right now. What are you doing right now? That's what the goal is. That's what the G-O-A-L is. The uppercase goal that will lead to the lowercase goal, the outcome, the bonus, the side effects, the byproducts. That's what this is. The goal is not the goal. The goal is just the byproduct, the bonus of the real goals that we're talking about, which is the journey. Does this make sense? Makes sense in my fucking head, and that's all. That's what matters to me. I'm assuming if you're one of my freak code people, one of my peak freaks, part of the freak code that live according to this freak code, You understand where I'm coming from. You understand where I'm coming from. I have the matching shorts. I didn't realize Instagram was going to show the shorts. I would have wore the matching shorts of this too, but the other ones can't see the shorts. Good thing I was wearing shorts. Instagram does this long, have to go it this way. A lot of times I do these live videos, I just wear the shirt. Sometimes even just a a suit shirt and a tie, but there's I'm I'm just free balling it down below. But good thing I have the, the peak physique shorts on. 
the no excuses line on. But check out the free code line. I'll put the link below. There's all kinds of tons of women's workout gear, men's workout gear, swimsuits, all kinds of crazy stuff. The free code. And we are designing and developing new products every day on the free code line of clothing. And it's not just about the clothing. It's about the lifestyle. The free code is about a lifestyle. And every product you buy, you get a downloadable free full entire workout to follow along workout from home completely free. So anyway, back to these goals. You need to be obsessed. You need to be fucking obsessed. Obsessed. Sovereignty as a being. I like it. I like it. Hell yes, that is part of the, what the real goal is. All those other outcomes. And listen, those outcomes that, that people think are their goal, which is not even really the goal. It's the things we're talking about in the comments here. I, I love it. Good stuff. All those things, the, whatever the outcome is, the, the make a million dollars a year, the house, the car, whatever that, what you think you perceive as a goal, which we've already determined is not the real goal. That's still not even the main goal there. There needs to be something above that, a higher calling, a reason for wanting that. All right, you want this big house or you want this million dollars a year, whatever you want. There has to be a higher meaning to that, a higher calling to that so that you have something to fall back on when shit gets tough, when shit doesn't go your way, that you have a stronger reason why you're going for it than just a fucking house or a, a number of money. That's not going to cut it. That's not going to cut it. Something like being a role model to your kids so you're the type of man that your son wants to become or your daughter would want to marry. That's a type, type of higher calling goal. And in order to do that, maybe making a certain amount of money will allow you to give them the experiences and the lifestyle that you never had. So you can also donate to the charities you want to, like I char to military fundraisers and we do some stuff for animals and kids and, and things like that. Those are the real, real upper, higher, we call those the, the, the calling. That's your calling. There's the calling, there's the superficial G -O, lowercase goal, and then there's the stepping stones, uppercase goals that lead to that lowercase goal that lead that is done because of the higher calling. You got to put all this shit together. This is what it takes. That thing that you think is the goal is a waste of your fucking time. And if that's all you're obsessed on is, oh, I want to make this certain amount of money, or I want this kind of house or this kind of car, or even this kind of lifestyle or whatever, it's going to be a fucking disaster. You will be miserable. Even if you achieve it, you'll be fucking miserable if you don't have these real uppercase goals on the journey along the way. If you're not building those relationships on the way, if you're not learning and developing and improving yourself and have this growth along the way. And this leads right into, this leads right into uh, really about the basics and fundamentals that you should have in your daily disciplines and the habits and th the problem that most people have, right? You have, so you have this thing you think is your goal, this superficial goal. You forget about what the higher calling is. You're just obsessed on this superficial goal. People that are thinking like that, just trying to keep up with the comments here. People who are thinking like that, that are just obsessed with the amount of money they want to make or the type of, that, that perceived goal, the perception they have of that goal. So let's say you have your, your non-negotiables throughout the day, your basics, fundamentals that you do. Let's say you work out every day, no matter what. Let's say you have... Uh, you eat healthy, you do journaling, you meditate, you schedule family time, all right? You do that type of stuff. You, you, do, you, you have a time that you do some reading every day, some work on some personal development every day. The problem is the people who are fixated on those superficial goals or the money goals or whatever it is and that's it and don't have that higher calling and don't appreciate the steps along the journey and building the relationships and cultivating this stuff along the way, what happens is they stick to those basics and fundamentals all the time on the easy days. The days where things are a little slow, not as busy, everything's going well. They do it on the easy days. Then when life kicks you in the nuts and things go sideways and things don't go your way and maybe you're traveling or on vacation or just bombarded with work, you're getting overwhelmed and all this stress and anxiety and you take those Basic daily disciplines and habits, and you don't do them. You think, all right, I'm too busy. It's too hectic and chaotic. I got to skip the workout. I can't do the healthy eating. I don't have time for the journaling or the meditation. Skip the family time on the days that are hard and rough. And you have it all fucking ass backwards because you're too fixated on that, that superficial goal. And you don't have that higher calling to it. And you're not really having gratitude and appreciation for all the real goals along the way, which are the real goal of the freaking journey. So if you're thinking, if you're operating that way, just reading the comments, definitely feel this. And yes, I've been there too, for sure. This is all from experience. This is me saying this of things that I've experienced myself. So 
The thing is about these, all these habits, these daily habits we have, we do them on the days we don't necessarily need them, the easy days. Then the hard days, when we actually need them, we don't do them because we think we don't have time for them. The only reason we do these fucking habits on the easy days is so that we will continue doing them on the hard days when we actually need them. We only do them on the days we don't need them so that we have them and they're continuous and automatic and part of our fucking DNA, part of our fucking freak code on the days that we actually need it. And most people have it ass fucking backwards. They only do it on the days they don't need it. And then the days that are hard and rough and stressful and, 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 and anxiety, the times when you should be journaling and meditating and getting a fucking kick-ass hardcore workout in, it's the days we don't do it. It's ass backwards. Does that make sense? Clicks in my head. If you're part of the if you're a freak part of the free code and you live according to the free code, you know exactly what the hell I'm talking about. And they should click and make sense to you. You need to have those daily disciplines and habits and do them every freaking day on the easy days, on the hard days, on the up days, the down days, the left, the right, the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, every fucking day you need to get it done. That's how it becomes automatic. That's how it becomes, that's how it becomes automatic and it becomes beneficial and it actually makes you not have bad days. This is the secret. This is the part of the free code to having a good day every day. This is how you have a good day every day. And I don't have bad days. And people think it's just me trying to be Mr. Cool Guy or Billy Badass, Mr. Marine, whatever it is. And it's not. It's because I have those non-negotiables that I do every single day, even on the slow, the easy, the boring days, the weekends, the days when I don't need it. So that when shit gets hard, I keep doing that. And you have your beats down. You never get off beat. Bop, 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 bop. And you have your beats. And you just keep beating the drum of the freak fucking code your own drum on the easy days, the hard days, every fucking day, and it makes every day a fucking awesome day. That's living according to the freak code. The FC, the fucking FC, the freak code. Check out the link. It's down there in the comments for the freak code if you want to check out some of the freak code gear. And if you want to get into some of these habits, check out the freak mode 40, the FM40. It's a daily discipline habit challenge, just like this. It's 40 days where there's a new habit introduced every day to stack on with some one-time habits. A lot of things to push you out of your comfort zone to get you into these non-negotiables that will happen every day so that you never have a bad freaking day. Check out the Freak Mode 40 Daily Discipline Habit Challenge and the Freak Code Clothing Line. This has been, Steve says, episode number 119. Don't forget, your real goals are the journey and the higher calling. That superficial thing you're looking for is just a byproduct. It's just a fucking bonus that if you get it, great. If not, fuck it. I've already got, I've already gained everything I want on the way there. I've already gained everything I want on the way there. Building the relationships, the experience, the knowledge, building the fucking toughness and the grit and the badassery. The badassery. Learning how to weaponize your weaknesses. Learning to take suffering and turning suffering into superpowers. Those are the real goals. Those are the real goals. Remember that. Write that shit down. Turn suffering into superpower. Weaponize your weaknesses. That's what it's all about, motherfuckers. That's what it's all about. The freak code. Make it happen. If you have any questions, comments, put them down below. I want to hear what you have to say about it. What are some of your daily non-negotiables that you stick to no matter what on good days, on bad days, and on those crazy days do you find yourself skipping on the shit you know you should be doing? We do it on the easy days so that we continue doing it on the hard days when we actually need it. Don't get it backwards. Hope that makes sense to you. It makes sense in my Freak Code mind. Check out the Freak Code clothing line and the FM40, the Freak Mode 40 Daily Discipline Habit Challenge to lock in these daily disciplines for you. So you have an awesome day every day. This is episode 119 of Steve Says 119. Holy shit. And in case no one told you yet today, you are fucking awesome. No excuses.